50 years ago, nobody in our family could imagine that one day we would be scattered all over the world. When I was born, the world was neatly organized. Soon after, the revolution broke out. Those were exciting times. It was beginning to blossom. I think that the oil money began pouring in the country. Everybody was so happy. We are going to nationalize our oil. We will send people abroad to study and come back. We, we will have our friendship with the Soviets. My father really wanted me to go to England. I said, no, I will not go to the bloody bourgeois. I'm going to the Soviet Union. <laughs> but this awakening ended in dictatorship and war after war. Everyday explosions and glass buttering. So I decided to leave. Now I am almost 80. How can I return? With the situation in my country, how could I return? Religious fanatics, all the women in abayas and underneath a headscarf too, and the arms covered to here. I don't know how they can bear the heat. I want to be part of the change over there. What am I doing here? Enough. Go back and be with them. Today, over 4 million Iraqi citizens live all over the world. Over 4 million stories. And my family story is just one of them.